Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, originally I wanted to do a video that was just a quick update and um, then I got thinking I didn't want to do a 30 second video. So I found something interesting in my daily devotions and then I got finished watching JT's recent video, an update on his ministry, uh, talking about the Godhead. And it got me looking into what I saw that I found was very interesting and God showed me more. Um, Someone else might have come up with this, but God showed me this, and I just wanted to share it with the brethren. But before I get into this, I'm outside a lot now. Um, the winters get to where it's raining all the time. And when it gets summertime, or we get days that's clear, uh, sunny skies, or partly cloudy skies, I'm outside. I want to be outside. So that's why you see me outside a lot. But um, the two things I was going to do to tell you guys was one I wanted to tell you thank you thank you thank you for everyone that's been praying for me um, gosh uh, the body of Christ has been praying for me and I preach I am blessed by it and I'm blessed by the Lord the Lord saved me from a fire uh, we had a huge fire come through here um, saved my home and saved me um, he saved me from a drought we had a drought last summer um, and then he saved me from my recent mistake, best way to say it, my failure, um, and the terror that I went through recently with my ex-wife saved me. And I thank you, and I thank you, thank you for your prayers. That was the first thing I wanted to do. Second thing was is the notifications. I make a comment, it'll notify me if somebody else makes a comment, regardless where I make the comment, whether it's under my own videos or somebody else's video. Um, It'll notify me when people I'm subscribed to, like Brother, Brother JT um, and uh, Brother Brian's channel, it'll let me know when a new video's come out. And so the notifications are working partially, but there's a little box there that says, do you want to be notified of comments under your own videos? And I click, yes, I want to be notified of comments under my own video. And it's not notifying me. So a lot of you are making some comments under my recent videos and I'm having to go on there and check them every day and I can't do that all the time. Eventually the video gets old. But if I'm missing people's comments, I want to apologize right now. I'm not getting notifications that people are making comments under my videos. So, But this was just supposed to be a quick video and then God's like, you know what, why don't you share something that God, that He showed me and just to add to a quick video but now it might not be so quick I hopefully I can keep it quick interesting uh, tie-in on the Godhead Jesus being the Father God the Father now first we always got I've always got to start this with 1 Corinthians 8 6 I'm pretty sure it's chapter 8 6 I forgot to put this in my notes um, there is but one capital G God the Father and one capital L Lord Jesus Christ so, turn to John 8, 12, if you've got your King James Bible, only in the King James Bible. John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisee therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. For I know, let's see, I lost my place. 14. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear a record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I came, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Remember that part. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, ye cannot come. 
Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whether I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins, For if ye believe not that I am he, Those three words, Ye shall die in your sins. Now I've talked about this before, This isn't the part I want to show you, But I just wanted to get the context of what I'm talking about here. Above it says, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Down here it says, Believe not that I am he. Jesus is claiming to be God the Father. There's only one God. Capital G God the Father. And by the end of this, I'll explain why that is. Another proof text. But they get in context why we know he's talking about him claiming to be God the Father. James 10.30 says, I and my father are one. Just wanted to throw that in there. It always upsets the Trinitarians. John 14, 18. Turn to John 14, 18. This is the part that shows what he's talking about up here when he says, If you had known me, you should have known my father also in John chapter 8. So John chapter 14, 8. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you? Almost sounds a lot like what he's saying in John 8. And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Remember he asked him to show us the Father, and he's saying, you don't know me? He that, he that has seen me has seen the Father. How sayest thou then, show us the Father? But the part I'm pointing out there, it says, and thou hast not known me? What does it say up here? If ye had known me, you would have known my Father also. Okay, Jesus is claiming to be God the Father. Okay. John 13, turn to John 13. Another time where, where Jesus says, I am He. John 13, 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that His hour was come, that He should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved His own which were in the world, He loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil have, having prayed, now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to portray him, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, and that he was come from God and went to God. Another proof text that Satan still has to get God's permission. Verse 4. He rises from supper and laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that he poured forth water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not, but thou that shalt walk, but thou shalt know hereafter. Sorry, my printer's kind of messing up when I print. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith unto him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but he is, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet, and had taken his garment, and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. I then your Lord, notice how Lord's always capital L, and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is no greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happier are ye if ye do them. I speak not of all of you. I know who I, whom I have chosen. But, the scripture, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled, he that eateth bread with me, hath lifted up his heel against me. Now this is the verse that, that I really want to talk about in this whole uh, topic, study. Verse 19, Now I tell you before it come, that when it come to pass, ye may believe, 
that I am He. The reason I read through all of this, because there's a lot of great things in here, but the point I'm pointing out is, is you go back up to verse John uh, 13, 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come and that he should depart out of this world. I believe what he's talking about in verse 19, now I tell you before it come, that when it come to pass, he's talking about his death. That you may believe that I am he. I believe he's talking about his resurrection. Why do I believe that? Jump down to John verse 20, 25. Because I read that, I'm like, wait a minute. He just said that you may believe that I am He. And I remember the verses that if you don't believe that I am He, you shall die in your sins. Talk about Jesus saying, I'm the Father. He's saying, I am God. There's only one God, the Father. John 20, 25. The other disciple therefore said unto him, and they're talking about Thomas, We have seen the Lord... Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Lord. In the Old Testament, it would say, Lord God, with all caps. Uh, I believe in the Old Testament, Lord is always a reference to Jesus Christ. Capital L, lowercase o, r, d. I believe capital, when it's all caps, Lord, God, in the Old Testament, it's saying Jesus, who is God. Jesus is mentioned all throughout the Old Testament. It just, we, his name wasn't revealed until he came in his corruptible body. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hand the sprint of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. In other words, if he saw that he was raised from the dead. It's really Jesus, and he's raised from the dead. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus to the door, being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hand, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believe. And Thomas answered and said unto him, Here it is, my Lord, once again, capital L-O-R-D, and my capital G, God, Jesus, who is God. There's only one God, the Father. And I found that very interesting, and I just wanted to share with my brother and sisters Christ that says uh, when he's washing their feet, he talks about how it's his time is coming and that he's going to die. And it says here that there's going to come a time after that that they're going to believe that, he, that Jesus is he, that I am he, that Jesus is the Father, that Jesus is God. Okay? And then I read uh, John 20, 25, my Lord and my God. And notice up there, 25, the rest of this, uh, the apostles, we have seen, we have seen the Lord, and it's all caps. So after his resurrection, he shows himself to them, and they believe that he is, that I am he, talking about Jesus Christ. So, it just was something I wanted to share with you, and not just have to do a little quick video, um, thanking you guys uh, about for your prayers, and that I can't get, uh, notifications for comments underneath my videos but I was reading that and I really wanted to do the video real quick not that I'm trying to come back hardcore um, with doing studies but I was watching brother JT and I was like I remember this it was in my heart that I read that first part about him telling the disciples when he's washing their feet that after his death and they still didn't understand it until after his resurrection um, that he that I am he and then I went to JT doing an update on his ministry talking about uh, the Godhead. And then I'm like, you know what, let me look at something. And I typed in, I am he, that I, yeah, I am he. And there was a lot of verses and then I went to the end and God showed me some stuff. I'm like, I got to show the brethren. I got to show the brethren. This was pretty interesting. Another proof text about Jesus Christ being the Father. So... I love my brothers and sisters Christ. I'm going to cut this video short. Just thank you for your prayers. I'm sorry if I don't get reach your comments or get all your comments right away. Um, I'm not getting notified. So thank you for your prayers. And I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll see you in the next video.